If this is your first time applying, click Create a New User. This is where you create your login. Use your 8-digit AAMC ID. JAMP applicants, use your 5-digit TMD SAS number. Click Create Login to create your account. Now that you have an account, click Login as Existing User. You're now at the Login screen. JAMP applicants, remember to use your 5-digit number. You're now at the first page of your application. Note the blue bar at the top of the page. Click Save and Continue at the bottom of each page to advance to the next page in the blue bar. This is the program page. Be sure to read everything carefully and fill out the page accurately. At the bottom of every page is a help icon. Click it for page-specific help. In this video, we'll highlight the icon on each page. Remember to click Save and Continue at the bottom of each page to advance to the next page. Fill out the Expenses page, then click Save and Continue. If you're not an MD-PhD applicant, your Advisors page will look like this. If you've specified that you're an MD-PhD applicant on the first page of the application, your Advisors page will look like this. Be sure to carefully review and fill out all fields on this page. This is the Special Experiences page. Indicate any special experiences, unusual factors, or information you feel would be helpful in evaluating you, including, but not limited to, education, employment, extracurricular activities, prevailing over adversity. You may expand upon, but not repeat, AMCAS application information. Once you've certified that the information you're submitting is complete and correct, Click the Submit and Payment button. There are two ways to pay. You can pay online or by mail. To pay online, click Credit Card or eCheck at the bottom of the page. Your payment will be processed online by PayPal. If you have a PayPal account, click Have a PayPal account at the top of the page to log in. If you don't have a PayPal account, click Don't have a PayPal account. Fill out your billing information and click Continue to process your payment. If you prefer to mail in a check or money order, click the Check or Money Order option at the bottom of the page, then click Submit and Pay. You'll see this Thank You page after clicking eCheck at the bottom of the page. Be sure to mail your check or money order to the address shown here. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.